team's a threat, and you look as best about it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Sir Mike, here to bring you another Wi Fi battle. At any point in time you're enjoying the video, make sure you smack that like button for me with your forehead. The support would be greatly appreciated. Here, I got another battle in the Discord from the man Gogeta himself. If you guys want to battle me, make sure you check out the Discord. I'm always asking for battles. If it's an interesting battle, I will definitely make sure to upload it. Anyway, if you are watching this, I am probably now in the sands of Jamaica. Chilling, relaxing, acting all cool. As you can see from his team comp, uh, he has a lot of threats. A lot of things I'm going to have to play around. This is a new team that I pieced together. I feel like I'm still missing something, but I haven't truly tested it yet. So we're going to see it here for the first time in battle. So it's going to make this a really interesting matchup. It's gonna be singles, of course. It's gonna be 6v6. If you guys wanna battle me in anything, I'll do doubles, I'll do singles, I'll do doubles, 6v6 as well. I'm also gonna be getting some new people into the FFA mix. So if you definitely wanna do that, make sure that you get in that Discord. Anyway, he leads out with Faramosa right off the jump. I know this is gonna be a problem. This interesting set I'm running on this Weavile right here. Um, very, very gimmicky here. I just wanna see exactly how much damage I can do. It kinda of helps me stall out the user, hopefully get them frustrated. Um, anyway, so I go for the fake out here. Go ahead for the flinch. Um, like I said, when I say it's a gimmick, um, I actually have fling on this as well with the razor claw to get the double flinch. I thought that might be good enough. However, he outspeeds me, and I forget that Feramosa is so strong and powerful. He gets the beast boots and it's special attack. He's not even invested in speed. So I'm like, okay, I'll go out to my charge. My charge, my choice scarfed Jolteon here, Zapdos, and he outspeeds me again and he goes for a quiver dance. Now, luckily, if you had a sash, I broke it, but this was a huge misplay, not only on my part, but his as well. Because one, if I was scarfed, which I come to find out I was actually spec, so I messed that up. If I was scarfed, um, I think I would have been able to outspeed him, but because I wasn't. He outsped me, but instead of tacking with this special attack boost already, he just goes ahead and quiver dances. He got a little too greedy, so it didn't work out for him. Now, guys, this is going to be the biggest fuckery in Pokemon that you are ever going to see. I apologize to this man right after the battle. I mean, th th what, what you're going to witness here is going to be exactly why people do not like to consider this game competitive at all. So he goes for the fake out here, which, of course, is going to do damage, even with the, the nerf that they gave Kangaskhan and Parental Bond. It still does damage. But here's this fuckery that I'm talking about. Choice, Specs, Thunderbolt. I get the paralysis. Now, if he hits me with anything, I'm gone. Welp, he gets paralyzed. He goes here into what I believe is a sucker punch and gets paralyzed again. I get the double paralysis, which allows me to take out this Kangaskhan. That's what I'm talking about. I Honestly, I didn't even feel good when it happened. I honestly did not feel good when it happened. He switches out Minior, nice shiny Minior. That, that's pretty dope. I think I might hunt one of those next. Anyway, he goes and straight into him. I don't think he realizes it, but it's still super effective. I'm definitely gonna outspeed him before a shell smash. So Minior goes down as well. Now I'm sitting here pretty, I'm feeling pretty good. I got over the biggest threat, which was Feramosa, and then Kangaskhan did not take out my Jolteon. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Right now I'm in a situation, I'm not gonna do anything to this, so I don't need to stay in. When I say that Pokemon, you're gonna see a lot of fuckery in this match, listen, it's not over with. He misses the high jump kick. <sighs> Was not feeling good about this. And I know high jump kick, you know, has its accuracy problems, but then he misses twice. Like, like what? Uh, how? So I feel bad. And so, I mean, I was setting up the tailwind regardless. I wanted to get that up. Literally, I bought in pebbles here um, just to take a hit regardless, but he misses both. I go for the air slash. And I miss that and I can't even be upset at this point. I can't even be upset. He missed two high jump kicks. He also got double uh, paralysis on the Kangaskhan, so I can't be upset. So he gets a little extra chip damage before he goes. Um, I finally hit him with the air slash, though, and I take out his Serena. By the way, looking thick as hell, as always. So now he goes into Kartana. This is going to be a problem here. Now, if he wouldn't have missed that first high jump kick, I believe um, I still would have been around the same damage. I feel like he would have got one off before he died, maybe even two. Um, but I hit the air slash and I get the crit, 
when I tell you that it just wasn't his day, bruh, it just was not his day. My tailwind goes out. I'm for sure just gonna go ahead and sack this thing off. I'll let him get his beast boost. I have something in the back that'll take care of him. But nah, his worst, his his worst, his luck gets even worse, bruh. He doesn't kill me. I get another tailwind off to ensure I outspeed for my next mine to come in. I actually outspeed him on this turn. Use another air slash and I take him out. Bruh, Gucci, when you're watching this, bro, I am so sorry. I am so sorry, bro. I can only imagine what your face looks right now. I can only see just the despair on your face. He's now down to his last mon. I go ahead and like I said, I know it's a, probably a battle uh, battle bond Greninja, but at the end of the day, it does not matter to me. Why? Because I have threats in the back. And by threat, I mean Jolteon. That was my win con. I knew Jol um, Greninja was still sitting in the back, so I went ahead and sacked him off, knowing that Jolteon would be able to take care of his business. So I go here, and as we're gonna see the battle bond formation pop off, I actually decided not to switch into Jolteon. I wanted to try to get some more mons, some screen time, and I wanted to cut his attack down. I just wanted to play it safe. So this is me make, playing, uh, making a safe play here. Switching in the Intimidate, Red Nose, shake it like a Red Nose, like a, like a, like a Red Nose. But um, he doesn't go for the attack, he actually goes straight for the special attack, Hydro Pump, doing damage. Tailwind goes out. I kind of thought Tailwind was going to help with Granbull, but Granbull is pretty slow. So now I'm in my Zapdos here. No Tailwind. I am Specs, not Scarfed, and that is a problem. Even then, Water Shore Yukin is a priority move. He hits two, and he hits three. That is enough to take Zapdos out. I am now pissing my pants, people. I have nothing to deal with this Battle Bond Greninja, and it's a wrap. I, I was up. 5 0 oh, 5 0. Oh. So I bring in Sloppy Top here, the Bruxish. Don't ask me about the nickname, it's not PG appropriate. He has to go for a strongest move here. And this was me pulling out the last trick in the bag. He goes out for a strongest move and I am able to disable it. And you will see here why in a second, why I decided to disable that hydro pump. It, it was in my best interest to do that. So now he goes for water shore Yukon again. And it's sort of a resist, I believe it is resisted of course, or it might even just be neutral. I think it's just neutral. Anyway, he goes, he hits three, it uh, definitely is resisted, and he only gets three. So that could just be more luck on my side. He's not able to get it. I'm able to get just enough chip damage with Crunch. It's the only thing that was really going to be able to hit him um, as I had Ice Fangs, um, Psychic Fangs, um, Strong Jaw. So he takes out Sloppy Top. I am now on my last mine. I went from super confident to taking the hardest L of 2016. Meek Mill ain't fucking with me when it comes to taking a hard L. The way this match is going. Everything was going in my favor. He hits me with the extra sensory and Fazbear is able to eat it. And I'm think I don't know how much the superpower would have done without um with you know without that little extra chip damage I was able to do with him. However, it was just enough. <sighs> my heart stopped as soon as Zapdos went down. As soon as Jolteon went down, my heart stopped. I was able to pull out the W bruh that that right there was some of the craziest shit i have ever seen in a battle and like i said shout out to gogeta for being a good sport bruh like we talked about it so long afterwards like it, it like i said it was it was a whole bunch of fuckery that went down however he was a good sport about it if you guys enjoyed the video again make sure you smack that like button for me it'd be appreciated if you want to battle me in the future find me in the discord that's where you find me at until next time go out of here